use it. That's right. Just plants use it. Move the water. The water. Science move the water. From the flexor booth. What is mutation? Mutation. Science. What is mutation? Lots of liquid in leaves. This is important for plants. Why? Because leaves will wilt. And now we will describe the process in which this magic happens. Osmosis moves the water up by hydrostatic root pressure. This is a process that all will call transpiration. Science! Words and deaths. Words and deaths. <laughs> Gotta have me sound words and deaths. Words and deaths. Words and deaths. Gotta have me sound words and deaths. Words and deaths. Words and deaths. Gotta have me sound words and deaths. Adhesion, fusion, and water potential. We'll define these words with one small mention. Cohesion is how water sticks together. That's why water is as tough as leather. Science. Adhesion is why water sticks on walls. This explains why it sticks to your skin. Pressure is tension in the xylem. This is true, no matter your phylum. Step one, obtain a plant sample. Be sure to place it immediately in water without letting it fall onto the ground. And then once it's in the water, cut it again. But this time, make sure it's at an angle. Step two, Transfer your newly cut plant stem into a larger water bath. Submerge your tube in water until there are no more air bubbles. Now we're going to place the stem into the tube. Danny, we need you for filming. One more time. Now we will show you three of the four conditions for transpiration. There you go. Ah. Now that it's in the clamp, make sure to measure the initial water level, which should be 0.16. Now we're going to take a series of readings over the next 30 minutes, representing the normal conditions. After 30 minutes, um, the amount of water in the tube went down by 0.5. Now we're doing heat treatment. The amount of water lost after 30 minutes with heat treatment would be much greater than under normal conditions. These results would be expected due to the heat of evaporation increases over time. <laughs> we will demonstrate the third condition, which is humidity. So first we will spray the plant thoroughly, and then we will place the bag over it after, so that no water can be escaped. During the 30 minute period, we will read the potometer every 3 minutes. After our 30 minute period, we found that there was a total water loss of 61.77 milliliters. This is extremely low compared to our other treatments. This is sample data of the transpiration rate. As you can see, humidity is the lowest. Fan and heat are the highest. At the end of your experiment, cut all the leaf blades from your plant, making sure not to include the leaf stems. Blot any water from the leaves and then determine their total mass. Do not crush the leaves. After you have the total mass, cut a one centimeter squared section from a leaf and determine its mass. The total mass of our leaves was 4.47 grams, and then when we cut the one centimeter squared section of the leaf, the total grams was 0.01. Finally, divide, divide the total mass of the leaves with the mass of the one centimeter squared piece. When we divided 4.47 divided by 0 0.01, we got 447 centimeters squared, which represented the total surface area. 
the details. Transpiration begins with evaporation of water through the stomatus. Small openings in the leaf surface which open into air spaces that surround the mesophyll cells of the leaf. The moist air in these spaces has a higher water potential than the outside air, and water tends to evaporate from the leaf surface. There are three main tissue types that help in transpiration. Xylem is a tissue composed of several different cell types. It is a water conducting tissue that conveys water and minerals from the soil through the plant. Phloem is a tissue that distributes the carbohydrate products of photosynthesis throughout the plant. The epidermis is the outermost layer of cells that serves as a covering for the above ground plant parts. Some epidermal tissues are covered with a layer of cutin which prevents water loss. The specialized guard cells of the epidermis open and close the stomates.